Designs like this and like this are making tons of people money because they're able to generate them quickly. They don't need a designer. And I'm gonna show you exactly today how to use this free tool to actually generate these designs with their text. And so in the past, I would say take a design and maybe put it into Canva or Photopea and add some text in. Not with this tool, it actually is going to include it for you. So I'm gonna show you how to generate these designs and then I'm gonna show you how to remove the background and actually make them large enough to use in your physical print on demand business or your digital download business. So whether you're selling on Etsy, Shopify, or you're doing merch by Amazon, you're gonna wanna stick around. This is very valuable. You're gonna to wanna to use this tool for sure. I highly recommend you save this video and come back to it and also open up Ideagram and start playing with some prompts and creating some designs. It is really addicting, it is really fun, and there are some awesome, awesome designs to be generated. So again, some of these turned out pretty good and some of them did not, and some of them will work better on t-shirts and some of them obviously will not. So if we're doing merch by Amazon, the main focus is t-shirts, phone cases, pillowcases, things of that nature. If we wanted to use this on something, for example, like an Etsy product, like a hoodie, you know, this would be a great design. So it'd be a good design for a t-shirt, a hoodie, something along that line. This design, for example, might only work for a pillow or a shower curtain or an apron or something along that lines because it's more square. This one here already has the background slightly cropped out for the characters. And so it's going to be easier for us to actually use on a print on demand design. Now you need to just enter a simple prompt and you'll get a output back pretty quickly. So in this case, I'm going to change our prompt to be an opossum and a raccoon wearing sunglasses, driving a trash truck, and the text, live fast, eat trash. I'm gonna change our prompt up slightly, and as you'll see, it generates our four options pretty fast. It is comparable to Midjourney, however, Midjourney can't really generate text at the moment. So I'm really excited about this free tool. Also keep in mind, there's Dolly 3 and ChatGPT Pro, so you can also generate text that way, but here are some of the generated designs that came back, live fast, eat trash. This one here looks pretty good. I know it's not a trash truck, but overall I like this design. I think it has high potential. And the great thing about this is I didn't need to waste time designing this or pay a designer to try it out. I'm going to basically be able to download it, remove the background, put it on a product and test it out. And if no one likes it, then we can move on and we can try more products. I didn't waste any money. I didn't waste very much time. And I can easily train a team member, a virtual assistant to make these designs. I can train them to to spot the good designs with no spelling mistakes and with good character generation. And I can tell them how to spot the bad designs. So this is exactly how I would go through and I would recreate some of the best sellers that I see on Etsy and Amazon. And I would generate the designs with text here in Ideagram if I was just getting started on print on demand. So here's another design that I generated, uh, Dotson in a hot dog bun in the text, hot dog. Now let's say this design is really close to what you want, but it's not quite there. You can click this little remix button and you can change the image weight all the way from one down up to five. And you can basically determine how close your image is gonna look to this original. I'm just gonna keep it on one and I'm gonna keep my prompt the same. However, you can change the prompt if you want to try changing that. So I'm gonna generate and then let's see what comes back. So I set the image weight to one and I asked it to generate with the same prompt. And now we're left with almost different types and different styles of dogs. And the text is slightly different but pretty much the same design. So you can see how this would be powerful for um, tweaking something that is close. Maybe the text is close, but it's not quite there. And um, that's exactly how you would do it. They make it extremely easy to control how close it is to this original image or how far away and how creatively unique it is. Now, for comparison's sake, I want to show you here Dolly 3, ChatGPT Pro, some of the designs that are being generated. And honestly, I prefer this model model over ideagram gives a lot more detail stylization i mean this is just a really beautiful print on demand design and there are a few more in here as well that i just truly love and so if you have a few extra dollars a month to spend dolly 3 is going to be a really good option for you it generates some really
really, really nice designs. So I wanted to show you the comparison. It's not perfect. Sometimes it will still have some weird artifacts. However, it is very, very stylized, can create some really cool graphics. So highly recommend checking that out as well. Now I wanna show you exactly how you can remove the backgrounds from these and make them larger. And so you can actually sell them and use them on your products. It's as simple as going to remove.bg, another free AI tool, uploading your design. Within a few seconds, the background will be removed and you'll be able to download this image for free at 500 by 500. Now keep in mind that if you wanted the full image at twice the size, you could pay for the HD version. However, what I'm gonna show you is how to come over to um, big JPEG and actually get the same thing for free. So you can select image and then you can select the design that you took the background off of, hit start, and then go ahead and increase it four times. Again, if you want to pay more, you could do an upgrade of eight or 16 times, but I'm just gonna do four times. I'm gonna do highest resolution, hit okay, and then it's going to start uploading and start enlarging this image. So it's gonna take about 11 seconds for this to finish, and then it will be downloaded and we'll be ready to use it for our print-on-demand products. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment below with any questions you have. If you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation call, there's a link below for that as well. I hope you succeed with your print on demand journey. Let me know if you have anything in specific that you're wanting future content on more print on demand, more AI focused. Let me know. Have an amazing day. Create something awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.